Sana? Sante. Hi. And then we also have next to you to Kona. Unitwa nani, mom? Hi. Unitwa nani? Betty. Betty. Ukona miya kangavi? Seven. Seven. All right, so now, of course, Betty's a bit scared because it's TV, she's seeing all these cameras and all these people. There are many more people that you never see. So, I'm going to go back to the house. Yes, I'm going to Okay, and then we have uh, Miriam's dad. How are you? Yes, I'm going to go back to the house. 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 I'm going na vas kafuze no kwa kasi ma sasa msiwe nyinyi peke yenu eh see that na sisi watu tunapenda kuvaa hizo scarf bila kwa sababu hatujazipata eh oh okay so hata nyinyi iko hapo sasa na iona Tanzania yeah. unaitwa nani naitwa Edward Thomas Mwakionde mm yeah ni baba na mwalimu wa Miriam oh mwalimu yeah. unafunza nini muziki oh muziki oh yeah. ulikuwa musician mwenyewe ama umejifunza tu ukimfunza pia yeye uh, ah mimi mwenyewe ni mwimbaji pia okay ila ni stopo kwa sababu mm baada ya kugundua ni mwimbaji mzuri mm. nikasema i don't have to go long sababu niki concentrate na za kwangu uh-huh. sitoweza kumfanikisha kwake mm. kwa hiyo nikasema hebu ni msogeze kwanza hey alafu mimi nitafanya baadaye mm. Miriam ni mtoto wa kipekee uh, huyu ni wapo wawili okay yeah unfortunately wote wa, walizaliwa wako na disabilities mm. yeah okay. like, yeah yule mwingine ana nini yule mwingine ana uh, alizaliwa na cerebral palsy mm. oh. yeah lakini okay wote wako vizuri kwa sababu nimewafundisha wasioni disability kama ni inability mm. e, waone kwamba that's a situation ambayo wamezaliwa nayo mm. lakini wanaweza wakafanya mambo mengine zaidi makubwa mm. kwa sababu hawana tofauti na wengine kwa sababu tunachokiangalia ni utu wa ndani na hapa kichwani mm. ndio ah, lakini wazazi wengine hawazungumzi hivyo kama wewe wana wanaongea ni kama wamechoka yani wameshindwa uh, kwa sababu unajua kuangalia mtoto ambaye ana ulemavu yoyote inakuwa ni shida kidogo Ki, yeah. uh, kipesa mm-hmm. unajua ni expensive alafu pia kazi uwezienda sasa zingine na video baki nyumbani wewe umefanya experience yako yani imekuwa niaje okay actually alivozaliwa huyu alizaliwa kipindi kigumu kidogo mm-hmm. maana mama yake alikuwa mjamzito mm-hmm. and then Uh, tukapoteza wazazi wa tatu mhm ambao akiwa na ujauzito when she was uh, four month pregnancy mm-hmm. her father died mm-hmm. after one month my mother died after another month her mother died asa uh, she delivered at uh, a wrong stage was she was she was born premature mhm yeah so by then ilikuwa tabu kidogo so unajua ndugu na wanaposema na wanaviona wakaongea vibaya lakini mm-hmm. mimi nikasema what has come into my hands is mine. Mm. Kwa hiyo nikashirikiana na mke wangu kwamba we have to see uh, kwamba mtoto wetu anaendelea vizuri. Mm. From there akaja akazaliwa ile mdogo ambaye alizaliwa na uh, baada ya miaka mitano sasa alipozaliwa na brain pause na wengi walisema ya kwao hiyo watu wanavyosema ah huyu anaonekana damu yake mbovu maziwa siyo namna gani lakini mimi nikasema nikamwambia mke wangu kwamba uki, ukitaka kukonda ni kusikiliza watu Mm. But we have to look at me. Mm. Mimi ndio say ya mwisho maana mimi ndio nilikufuata nikakwambia nakupenda. So mimi ndio na say ya mwisho kwamba sikutaki au unakutaka. So you just look at me. Kwa nimekuwa nikimcomfort. Ukimuona sasa hivi ha nikimtanguliza mbele na semaga haleluya Mungu maana umenipa kitu. Oh wow, Edward. Yeah. Eh. They don't make you like you anymore. I can tell you that right now. <laughs> What? That's in, that's that's very kind of you. Mimi mna miaka mingapi? Naenda 19. 19. Mm. Okay, Kiswahili yangu ni mbaya. Usi usijali. <laughs> Naambi wangu Kiswahili ya Nairobi inakuanga ni mbaya sana. Ya Kenya inakuanga ina sound mbaya. So, wewe ni mwimbaji naambiwa? Ndiyo. Eh. Babako ndo alikufunza kuimba? Ah, mimi nimezaliwa nacho maana kwa story alionipa baba wakati niko tumboni mwa mama, eh. baada ya grandfather kufariki. Aha. Uh-huh. Baba alimuomba Mungu kwamba mtoto atakayezaliwa mm. achukue kile ambacho alishindwa yeye kupewa na grandfather kwa sababu ilitakiwa akasome akasome music mm-hmm. ila bahati mbaya ndio hivyo grandfather akafa kwa hiyo akashindwa kwenda kusoma. Mm. <laughs> na wewe unakamtoa furaha? Eh, namshukuru Mungu amenipa furaha, amenipa amani. Na amekupa kipaji hey. ama ni vipaji um, other than kuimba ni nini nyingine unafanya Mimi kuimba napenda actor Au oh, unapenda ku act hey. Oh okay una una act una act uh, what role what role do you like playing 
napenda inategemea na character lakini mimi napenda character ni kiekti kama mm. mtoto ambaye mm. yupo kwenye mazingira ya ku teswa yule ambaye anateswa na mama alafu mwisho anakuja mm. anasimamia haki yake mwenyewe. Oh, okay. Ai lakini wanafanya watu walie. Wanapenda hizo star <laughs> movies. Eh. Napenda napenda na nipate ya ukorofi kwa sababu unakuta mama wengine wa Kambo uh-huh. wanakuwa ni wakorofi ya wapendi watoto wale waliokuta mule ndani. Kwa hiyo mimi nakuwa napenda kusimama mimi mwenyewe kutetea haki yangu kwa sababu mm. Yule yeye anatakiwa anitunze mimi kama mtoto wake. Uh-huh. Au kama anavomtunza mtoto wake yeye ndo anatakiwa anitunze mimi. Lakini sasa kuna mwingine unakuta anakuwa anaweka huyu wa kwake, huyu hmm. wa yule mme wake ile mkuta mule ndani. Kwa hiyo kuna kwa kuna different. Sasa mimi nakuwa mkorofi kwa sababu hataki kunipa haki yangu. Hmm. <laughs> Na unapigania hiyo haki yako. Hey. That's good. Shule butu zungumzie uko wapi sasa? Uko stage gani? Shule niko form 1 nimechelewa kwa sababu ya kuumwa. Mm. Eh. Oh, no, mwana wapi mimi niambie. Ah, nilikuwa nasumbuliwa na kichwa, okay. macho, kwa hiyo mm. nimechelewa shule. Mm, okay. Na leo mkuja na shabiki wako. <laughs> hey, anaitwa Betty. Ameogopa kidogo kuzungumza. Betty, how do you know Miriam? Unamjuaje? Nisikilize nyimbo zake. Pause sauti tu kidogo, kidogo tu. Nisikilize nyimbo zake. Eh, nyimbo zake. Alafu zikakufanya usikiaje? Poa. Ukasikia poa? Ukafurahi. Ana wimbo ngapi? Eh, ana nyimbo nyingi. Ila sababu ana save an album mbili. Okay. Na oh, albums. Oh, wow. Yeah, na hapa sasa hivi tuna tuko kwenye project tunaanza album ya tatu. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Now Miriam acha nikuuliza hivi. What do you want to tell young children when you want to see kipindi ama wazazi ambao wana watoto? Um, ambao hapa na pale wako na ulemavu moja ama mbili lakini yani wanashindwa kufanya chochote ama hawataki ama wanaogopa unataka kuambia nini kwa inspire yani naambia wasiogope wasikate tamaa Mungu yupo atawasaidia kwa sababu bila Mungu hatuwezi kufika popote mimi mwenyewe namshukuru Mungu na washukuru wazazi wangu ame mm-hmm. kwa sababu kwa dunia sasa hivi si mm-hmm. wazazi wote ambao anaweza kusimama kama hivi Mm. Unakuta mwingine hasa akina baba ndo anakuwa wa kwanza kukimbia. Yaani akishaona mm. mtoto ana disability ana anaaga nenda kutafuta maisha alafu anapotea huko huko. Mm. Mwisho siku akiona labda mtoto ana mafanikio fulani ndo anarudi mi babako. Hey. Kwa hiyo na hasa wazazi wasiwe hivyo na tumombe Mungu sisi watoto tumombe Mungu adumishe amani na upendo kwenye familia maana bila hivyo tutakuwa tunahangaika maana baba ndo huyo anakimbia mama mwenyewe naye akishona baba anakimbia okay. anakuacha labda kwa bibi narudi mm. huyo anarudi tena eh. you very much for your age i love that that's very good advice sasa hivi utaambia nini wazazi ambao wanatizama sasa hivi uh, labda wazazi niwaambie kitu mara nyingi kuna kuwa na tatizo la mzazi wa kiume na wa kike uh-huh. hasa wanachofanya ni kwamba baada ya mwanaume kugundua kwamba mke wake labda amezaa mtoto ambaye wenye ulemavu. Mm. Alafu mara nyingi uh, wanawaambia sana wakina mama kwamba wao ndio wenye matatizo. Mm. Okay? Sasa when you say your wife has got problems just because of the the siblings. Eh? Mm. Because of the children which have been born. Sawa? So, mm-hmm. Ukisema vile unakosea kwa sababu the blood in those children are yours. Mm. Wewe ukimse, ukimsakama mwanamke kwamba huyu mwanamke ndiye mwenye matatizo na maana unaji, unajisahau. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Kwa hiyo la kwanza ni kupokea kwanza kile ambacho umepata. Mm. Maana you never know. Kweli. Kwa sababu kama nisingemsimamia for sure tusingeweza kuelewa kuongea leo hapa. Ndiyo. Kweli, very true. Nisingemsimamia, nisingeweza kuja hapa K24. Kweli. Yeah, kwa sababu nimemsimamia, nikasema ni cha kwangu tuendelee. Mm. Kwa hiyo ndio maana unakuta watu wananifahamu na mm. tunaenda kufahamiana. Kwa hiyo wazazi wasiache kushirikiana. Wazazi asante sana. Asante mm. sana. Miriam mebu tumbie kidogo, alafu twende kwa DJ. Mungu atukuzwe kwa mambo maku upendo wake alitupa Yesu aliyejitoa 
maisha yake tuwe na uzi mawamilele msifu msifu dunia sikia msifu msifu watu wa furahi na je kwa baba kwa Yesu mwana ukam tukuze kwa mambo yote wokovu oh, wow. kamili zawadi kwetu ahadi ya Mungu kwa ulimwengu wana Omwamini na ku ngama mara moja wale usamehewa woko vukamili zawadi kwetu ahadi ya Mungu kwa ulimwengu wana omwamini na kuungama mara moja wale husame hewa msifu msifu dunia sikia msifu msifu watu wa furahi oh my god na je kwa baba kwa Yesu mwana ukam tukuze kwa mambo yote ali tufundisha mambo makubwa ali ha kikisha wokovu wetu laki hello ni zaidi ajabu kubwa Yesu atakuja na tutamwona msifu msifu dunia sikia msifu msifu watu wa furahi na uje kwa baba kwa Yesu mwana kwa mambo yote Oh my goodness How beautiful was that Everybody needs to clap We're like 45 people in the studio I need every single one of you to clap right now That was beautiful Miriam that was so good You're so talented That was so amazing Thank you so much to um your father Edward umefanya kazi nzuri sana na msichana Yaani hivyo vinyaweza kuimba hiyo kipaji najua nizaliwa nayo lakini kwa kuwa ni wewe uka enhance kidogo Thank you so much and I wish you all the best as you go to um Tanzania naona kidogo ulikuwa unatoa matozi naelewa usijali Thank you so much for coming taking time and talking to the parents as well um as Miriam kuongea na um na watu through the TV right now I'm going to go and talk to the DJ a bit that was so inspiring guys how big was that that was incredible i want to see if vern um felt some type of way about it hey vern hi hey miwani nani asubuhi atukunata mambo vipi how was that amazing that was inspiring right very inspiring. what do you want to be remembered for vern what kind of legacy would you want to leave behind um somebody who um, impacts people positively yeah you get like um this girl this young girl has really inspired me i've never had someone of her age like singing the way she's singing and such such inspiring in front of the dad and the, that's the sister that's a fan that's a that's fan. a fan that's a yeah. big fan by the way did i mention that betty is a fan yeah. yeah so that's really incredible we're gonna tell you where you can get to miriam's album Uneza Kuinunua. um she sings gospel music it's all about praise um and just thanking god how far you know um he's brought her and we want you now to play for us the music as we wind up the show should i just wind it up